Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play. In the last video we built this whole entire farm up here, we even built a whole tree stump that it's sitting on, and it's been doing pretty well. I've gotten a couple good uh, trading sprees out of it so far, and today I am probably going to be using it to get um, some materials for our end fight that we we're going to be doing. And I've been kind of poking around in the mines a little bit because I was thinking about it and even though this is doing pretty well for itself, it's not going to get us to a whole lot of enchantment levels for enchantment in our armor because I need to do like a whole entire boot set and maybe do my chest plate but I don't know probably just the boots but that's still kind of quite a challenge for being at level 16. So I wanted to see if I could um, maybe make the cave spider spawner down in my mine into something that's kind of useful but then I wanted to actually look around because I realized I hadn't really explored the whole mine shaft well somewhere wait a minute um, I destroyed all the cobwebs on it oh yes but right here our cave spider spawner is still um, around, but even though it is pretty close to where we are, it's, um, oops, hey now, rude. This is my area. I actually didn't go down in this section for some reason. Um, it's very, the terrain is very scuffed the way it is. And obviously this is a dangerous corner to be in. So I pretty much stayed um, where my bubble elevator started because I did break into this room where I, when I was strip mining and it is pretty useful, I think, um, or at least it's going to be once I actually do it, but I can lay out a bunch of copper in here, so that'll be nice. But um, I found quite a few geodes and I had a lot of amethyst blocks on me at the moment, or at the time when I was doing this. So I made myself a little amethyst trail because this is kind of a maze. And I found a couple of chests and things um, that had some loot in it as well as a diamond block, which I mined, um, and it gave me three um, diamonds. But I also ran across some other diamonds, um, two different blocks of diamonds that are somewhere around here, but I don't really know where, unfortunately, and it's like really difficult to get around, as you see. But I'm gonna just uh, run around and look for these actually real quick because I think there was a decent amount there that would be kind of a shame to lose. Oh, and I actually haven't been up to this layer. Crap, this goes into quite the cave. It's actually not what I was looking for, so no thank you. But these chests, that's pretty good. Uh, a golden apple, I was actually gonna have to make a couple of those. Um, but in these chests also I found an Unbreaking 2 book and a Sweeping Edge book, which is good. However, I do need to really uh, condense some of this stuff here. So I'm gonna just grab what is useful to me at the moment. Oh, Curse of Vanishing. I was excited there for a second. But yeah, just any extra food or torches is gonna be helpful, so we'll grab those. Like, what is this? Like, what is, what is that generation? I know there were some diamonds around here. It was in kind of a long stretch of tunnel, uh, somewhere. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I've searched the area and I can't find them, which is sad, but eventually um, this is going to be a project that is just going to be clearing out all of this area and then maybe making a train, a rail system to just bring me here instead of walking. Um, but for right now we have this nice amethyst trail that leads us all the way here. And it does go through quite a few caves. I forget which one I found a geode in, but there was one that had a massive geode that I ran into. I'm sure we'll stumble upon it at some point, but anyways, if we go down here- oh, this is the cave. Well, dang it, um, but anyways, this is, uh, the geo that I found, and I dug down in here just so that we can have some extra crystals, um, and it's quite a huge one, actually, so that'll be useful to have, um, instead of going in that massive open cave. Alright, but I found it, here it is. It's a bit of a waterfall at the moment, but it's a nice skeleton spawner. Um, I haven't actually checked the loot in the chest, but I guess it's decent. But we'll have to dig this out, um, but I can set up a little mini camp here and kind of throw all of my crap in it. Alright, but we can, um, first of all block this water off and then dig out the lovely room that we have to do for this. Ooh, diamonds! What the heck, that's so random. I will take it though. Ooh, four from the first one, two from the second. Holy crap, just 11 diamonds. Just sitting in there. Alright, not bad, not bad. I will throw it in here with the rest of them. That's 14 diamonds just from this random excursion. Are you kidding me? I seriously, I just wanted to do a nice digging session. This is such a close proximity. That's so weird. Literally over there diamonds and here diamonds. None of them were exposed though. Okay, but that's dug out, and I can't remember if it's actually one or two that has to be below. Um, but I'll try it to one for now. Um, but we need to get some new bucks of water. And we don't even have to leave our cave for this. Beautiful little aquifer here. Okay, so if it's correct, it 
should have the water flow exactly like that. Um, and we can probably block this off at this point. Close that in there. All right, now once I break those blocks, that all should flow down and funnel them into one block. But I do need some signs first. So I'm just gonna borrow some of the wood from down here to make a few signs. But now we can break all these blocks. Oops, no, I said enclosed. I actually think that might've broken the torch. Oh no, actually it didn't. Somehow, all right, we're good. The opening will be right here. And I actually think I need to be keeping my torch in my off hand because it's quite dark in here. All right, but then we need to actually drop them down. Actually, is that how it works? I don't even know. Because I want to do a bubble um, elevator for this one. Actually, I think I want to make an infinite water source now that I'm thinking about it. There we go. Um, because if this was the bubble elevator, we would need two signs, but I think we could just have them pushed here anyways. Although, would that work? Actually, I don't even know that we need the signs. We could just have them be pushed into this column, I think. Alright, we'll try it like that. But I do need to go upstairs and grab some soul sand as well as some kelp. Alright, some soul sand. And I think we have a bunch of kelp lying around in one of these chests. Oh, yes, perfect. Um, I think it's like 20 something blocks I have to drop them from, but we might have to tweak it a little bit because I'm not totally sure about that. If this is our soul sand, uh, we need to bring them up. Um, and let's see here if that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, right now this is 12, so we'll try it. Oops, we have broken them or something. Oh, look at that mine shaft, excellent. Alrighty, so I guess we have to block more of this in. And I've lost my place, so let's just call it here, I guess. Oops. Actually, no, that's correct. Okay, so then this will be the chamber that drops them all the way back down. We need this, and then that's where our sign will go. But first, we need to actually make this a proper bubble elevator. And I also want to be able to stop ourselves here, so let's just dig a hole down to here and then dig it up a little ways. Although, I guess we'll hit that anyways, so it doesn't matter. Oh, and it does, it messes that up. I forgot that's how it was going to be. We just do this then? No, because that pushes it away. Oh, rails stop water. Interesting. Maybe they will just walk in here? Is that how it works? Because they will get pushed. And I guess we'll just see if that's how it works. And add our kelp up here anyways. And just go ahead and dig straight down in Minecraft. Ow. Alright, well I guess that worked. Okay, so then this will be the killing chamber. So we want a room somewhere around here. Ooh, iron. And now I just need to actually find my way out of here, which is easier said than done, but I think it's somewhere up this way. Oh, yes, okay. Alright, so we can have this nice little staircase down here. All that's really left is to turn it on and see if it works. And I don't know if I'm gonna turn it on if I break that. And I really don't want to be in here when this is on. I'm gonna preemptively make an escape route and break all those torches from there. Ow. Alright, so they fought each other a little bit, so some of them are gonna die. Oh yeah. Hello? I know there's more than one of you. Oh, nice, it works. Okay. And he's in with punching distance. Yes. I'm just gonna... Oops, maybe not. That's a chamber. Oh yeah. Oops. I can uh, open this room up a little bit, but it's not gonna look super great for right now. I'm probably not gonna decorate it until after we finish everything we have to do today, if that's in this episode. Um, just because I think of that, because I found so many geodes around here, I want to um, maybe do like a purple and amethyst and maybe like fairy logs type of scheme, like very purpley, and then maybe some bone blocks. So for right now, it's not going to look super great. However, I do want to have a little bit of storage here for all of the bones and things. So I'm going to take one of our chests in a minecart that we found and just leave it down here for everything. I'm going to hang on to the arrows though, because I'm definitely going to need those for the end fight. And also, of course, looting 3 comes in really handy here, which is nice. I also don't really believe I have any bows yet, because I don't really use them a whole lot, even though that would be nice to have. And it definitely is essential for today, so I'm hoping I can also get one of those. And that's actually decent and not on 61 durability. Okay, I have a stupid question. If I were to, say, put an amethyst block here, when they fall on it, would they make the pretty amethyst sounds, do you think? I mean, maybe not, because I can't really walk around. I guess not. I kind of want to leave it there, though.
Okay, now I have finally gotten above level 30, and I have collected a few of the bows that I think are going to be the most helpful, and also many, many more. Um, but also this one is on zero durability, and I don't know how that's possible, but it's just chilling there. I didn't drop his bow. But, so I have just a very good uh, durability bow, and then I have an Unbreaking 2 one, which is also pretty high in durability. And then I have a power 1 and a power 2 bow, which I think I might also have another power 1 bow, so I could do a little bit of combining if I wanted to, but I could also just enchant this one and see what I get, and then combine uh, probably that one and that one. But yeah, pretty good assortment of these guys, so I'll definitely be able to get a good enough bow out of that somehow, and that guy dropped a lot of armor, what the heck. It's actually like a little bit better than the boots I have now. Um, I also have a fire protection 1 thing, so I could do a fire protection 2. That would actually be a decent, decent pair of uh, nether boots, I might actually combine those. Oh crap, they're really collecting now. And they aren't actually all the way to one hit, which I didn't realize at first. I'll fix that later, and I'll probably take a few stacks of arrows with me just because the chain of leggings are also kind of decent. And also the boots, what the heck, protection 2 and fall feather falling 3. Weird. But yeah, alright, so let's get back up um, to the surface now. So the first order of business here, I think, is going to be making our new boots. But while I'm here also, I think that I do want to make a shovel, because that's the one tool that I don't have, other than of course a diamond hoe. But right now, we could do Depth Rider too, that's actually a decent enchant just for not for the end but for everyday use but i don't know level two on this is i'm breaking three i actually might do that what the heck that's actually really good efficiency on that too all right awesome okay i do need to get up if i want protection three so i need to climb this last level again but we can actually just um do some trading i think because our pumpkin and melon farm has been up there working away Oh yeah, look at that. So many. Okay, rise and shine, you guys. Actually, mainly just you. Oh yeah, it's been so long, so I didn't give me the discount anymore. What the heck, my guy? We used to be tight. That's right. I intimidated him. Oh yeah, 30. Okay, we don't really need to trade all of these right now, I guess, so we'll just leave those there and go get our nice new boots. Okay, protection 3. Oh, that's the only thing on there. I don't know if that's really worth rerolling. It would be really nice to have Unbreaking on it. I do have this um, Unbreaking 2 book. That's not really great. I would really love an Unbreaking 3, and we could also add that to our axe to help durability for my sanity, but now I kind of want to mess around with our axe. Oh, why did I equip one of those boots? That's weird. So I want to work on our bow here and just enchant oh, infinity. Honestly, I don't think that's really what I need right now because I have so many arrows. Does punch clash with power? I really don't do a lot with bows, so I don't know how they work. Oh, it does. Oops. Okay, but punch one isn't the best enchantment that we could get. Um, I was really hoping to get unbreaking three. It doesn't really look like we're gonna get that though. But let's just unenchant that and then... Alright, well now I kinda wanna just enchant these bows and just see what happens. Oh wait, this one has unbreaking two. Did I know that? Honestly, there's so many. I really can't keep it straight. Oh, power. I didn't know that could go that high. What the heck? Alright, let's do another one of those and then combine all these guys. Okay, so that gives us a power 3, and then we can do a power 3 and breaking 2. Then we have one more power 2, but then I want to get- oh, of course, it's an unbreaking 1. Alright, I think I might try and enchant these, or combine them, but I am really running out of levels. Oh yeah, alright, it does not look like it's gonna work for us, but that's an okay bow for the end fight. We really just need it to fire arrows, I suppose, because it's not really that difficult. Although I say that now, it might prove to really ruin me. Although, what would it take to combine these two? Because those would be really good for the nether. Ten. Dang it. Oh, that way it's six. Well, we'll come back for those. And I know that I have another pickaxe um, in my house that I want to bring with me, because I don't want to take either of my good pickaxes, because I'm probably going to die with them, and there's nothing that I really need to mine with so such for efficiency three. Is that a phantom that I just heard? I feel like I heard a horrible demonic screech just then. And I do need them. Yes, okay, perfect. I was hoping that our excursion in the mines would really help with not sleeping for a while, because uh, we need these for potions of slow falling. Alright, come at me, bro. Oh, what the heck? He chickened out at the last minute. Alright, back for more, sir. Oh, dang it. Oh man, I'm really not good at fighting these guys. Yes, alright, we got 
free. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Okay, I want to go to bed now because these guys are kind of annoying. Okay, but in here, we have an efficiency 314-2 axe, which I can just bring with me because it's kind of expendable. And I'm just going to leave most of my stuff in here. And then I also need to bring with me a compass. And then what is this potion? Oh, water breathing. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, but I don't need anything else in there for our potion making, which is our next step here. But I also want to remember to bring um, some extra bottles for uh, dragon's breath. So I can collect as much of that as I want to. And I've also been growing a little bit of nether wart in here um, to stockpile it for potions. Okay, so we have um, 22 blaze powder, which is good because I was kind of worried about that. But we only need 12 for the portal, plus whatever ones break. And actually, I do need some water here. But I think the way that you make the potions with slow falling is by an awkward potion and then just adding the phantom membrane. Let's see, did it work? Oh yes, okay. So then redstone, it's only for a minute and 30 seconds right now, which isn't super great. Okay, so redstone turns it to four minutes. Oh yeah, we got the advancement local brewery. And now I don't know if it's awkward potion or not. Oh, it looks like maybe it isn't. Oh, mundane potion. All right, I've messed it up. Oh, do I have to drink these to make them go away? Alright, anyways, so make an awkward potion first, and then one more sugar. Oh, what did I make? Oh, swiftness. Alright, apparently I don't know what I'm doing. That's interesting to have, though. I can't really think of anything else I want to make, so I guess that's good. Although, I guess I could flank from these, because I might as well. Let's see, does that bring it actually up to 8 minutes? Oh, it does. That's cool. Okay. Alright, so we have 24 minutes of speed now, and I actually forgot, and then remembered, how while I was doing all that, that I wanted to actually cook all of our steak that we have from um, killing all of our cows. Because we have a lot of lava, so we could just put all of that on to smelt. Yeah, so we have a lot of uh, steak here, or raw beef that will soon be steak. And we had a golden apple. Oh, I don't. What the heck? Aw, uh, well dang it. We do have some apples, so that's good. But we can put um, our beef on to smelt in here. And then I want to actually go down and check for our golden apple, because I think that might also be the chest that our ender pearls are in, which we actually really do need for this whole operation. Oh, yes, okay, both of them are here. And then I might as well take this bread as well. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I should take that gunpowder too from the creepers that were down here, so that I can have rockets to fly around the end once I hopefully get my elytra. Okay, and we also have, um, some gold. We can use probably just half of that for now. Make another golden apple. And I guess we now can also make the rest of those into eyes of ender. Okay, so we have a decent amount of rockets here, and we do have three extra eyes of ender, and I don't know how much obsidian I have. Um, actually, that might be in here. Oh, I guess not. Okay, maybe my valuables chest, um, because I think we might be able to make possibly a ender chest, which would be helpful, but it's not really necessary. And our steak is smelting quite nicely in here, but while we're waiting for that, we can collect some of our building blocks or bridging blocks we're gonna need, I mean. Which probably is gonna be uh, just regular deep slate because it's kind of useless for building. And we also need uh, a couple buckets of water. And I guess also probably a carved pumpkin to put on our heads so that we don't um, anger a army of endermen. That's not good. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Probably actually put those in not my hot bar. But there we go, beautiful pumpkin. And if we wear it, it is kind of a pain to see out of. So hopefully we can uh, be in F1 for most of it. If I can just like equip my sword and just kill things and not have to really know what I'm holding. And the last thing that I think I want to bring with me is a chest. Just so that we can um, have it next to our spawning bed by the portal. And just as soon as these are done smelting, we can leave. And I think I'm going to bring a boat with me as well which for some reason right now isn't stuck at our docks, but just ignore that. Okay, now all of the stuff is melted down, uh, or cooked, I guess, technically. I need to find a good clear spot to throw the first one of these. Um, and I guess we could hop on a tree. It's probably the best way. Alright, I'll throw it in the direction of our almighty mountain. Um, oh, over there, okay. These don't land on the roof. Dang it, let's see, let's just cause a minor flood. So that won't mess up my entire area. Oh yeah, it's fine, okay. So let's just head off in this direction for a while. All right, we've been walking for a ways. Let's see if we can throw another one. Oop. 
Okay. Oh, now that one broke. I was kind of off in my direction. It's just a little ways over this way. All right, what does it say now? Ooh, over there, okay. Don't break. Yes, okay. All right, it's going back towards this direction. Okay, so right around here. So I say we start digging down right around here and try and make a nice staircase for as long as we can. Ooh, we've hit a cave. I don't really know if that's a good thing or not, because it might lead us kind of astray, but I kind of want to follow it down so we don't have to do as much digging. Oh, ow. A mine shaft! What the heck? So mean. Oops, this isn't really great. I keep falling down random holes. Okay, but let's see. I don't really like mine shafts. I've kind of spent enough time in here already today. In mine shafts, I mean. <gasps> what the heck? That was surprisingly quick. Okay, so that was cool. I really thought this was going to be like a whole thing once I saw this. Could have been a maze, and now we just have to enter a slightly uh, smaller maze that is closer to what we need to be. And to where we need to be, I mean. <gasps> Diamonds! Ooh. Okay, oh, there's a spawner over there. I don't love that. So let's just block that off. I know it won't protect from cave spider spawner, so I don't really know why I did that. Library. Hello. Haha, uh, this is a weird uh, spawn. That is so many cave spiders. Hold on. Ooh, eye armor trim and smite. Okay, yeah, right. We're gonna, we're gonna have to come back for all of this loot and maybe save these for my fortune three pickaxe just because. Ooh, there's a diamond in there though. Oh, and the music disc. I think that's a fairly new one too. Another chest. Oh, nothing super great. Okay, uh, this spot is the dead end. Actually, this whole area pretty much is. Man, this generation is kind of rough. Oh, a golden apple. Nice, nice. What the heck is zombie spawner? That's so weird. All of this is totally just mushed together. Oh, a flame book. That's interesting. More gunpowder. This is, like, honestly some pretty good loot. I really have to come back here. Oh, hello, creeper. Okay, so much in my inventory. I honestly can't carry a whole lot, which is a shame. Ooh, another library. Nice. Oh, another eye armor trim. Ooh, power free mending. What the heck? That would be really good for my bow. Like, actually, perfect. Blur, efficiency, sharpness. This is really good. Where's the other chest in here? It's like down there. Okay. There's so many eye armor trims. I think those are probably pretty common. A lot of fire protection in that. Alright, but that is not a portal. Oh, hello. So many creepers. Oops. Ah. Nope. Oh, no, thank you. That didn't die to one punch, that's not cool. Man, there's so many dead ends in this place. Alright, I've run out of torches, I've actually searched so much of this place. Ooh, is this another library? Different from the one we just found? Um, I think so, the chest isn't on this side, okay. That's like so many libraries, what the heck? <gasps> yes, I found it! Let's go! Oh, and it has a pearl in it! Awesome, okay. Actually, I guess if I brought a diamond pickaxe, I could have, um, need a um ender chest with that but it's fine Ooh, turns out the light level is not okay and we can place our bed down here oh it's actually nighttime all right ah rude what else do you want from me all right i guess i'll leave a few dangerous lava pools around although actually why am i not just destroying this you know what it's it's fine okay See, let's just uh put that back there and then maybe give this room a little bit of light here. See, I'll keep a potion of each in my hand, and then um, a bucket of water, and then let's add all these in here. Last one. There we go. Oh yeah, that lights up the room. Heck, I didn't know it put off so much light. Anyways, and then um, a stack of building blocks. Kind of nervous. Um, my iron axe, pickaxe is low, I didn't think about that either. Eat one last steak. And here we go. I was falling there for a minute and I swear to god, I was gonna lose it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make this platform nice and wide to the edge here. Um, and my pickaxe is on low health, so let's just, um, maybe climb the rest of this. 
Um, I'm gonna try and look down and not put the pumpkin on my head just yet. Let's see, we can start trying to shoot some of these towers here. Ow, ow. Um, and let's also just put some water in here. Yes, got it. Oh, did I just anger one? Oh no, they're mad at him, okay. Oh, did I get it? Yes, okay. Oh man, that guy just died. Oops. Oh no, someone's mad at me. Listen, you walked in front of me, you guy. Are they mad? I can't even tell. Okay, it might be fine. Oh, nice. Okay, I got that one. Alright, I think there's just those two tall ones and then the barden ones. Oh, never mind. I've just angered a whole crowd. Or maybe they're mad at him. Okay, it's hard to tell. I think I did look at one of them. Possibly. Hey, buddy. First try. Let's go. Oops. No, 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 no. I didn't. <sighs> okay, that was terrifying. I thought I was off the edge of the void. Dang it, I am not gonna get that one, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna drink one of these. Okay, that one's good. And then this one over here. Then there's one up there. Oh, did I get it? I think I got it, okay. Ow! Alright, there's one tall one up here, which I'm gonna try and get from this tower. Ow, rude. Hurts so bad. Being so mean. I forgot that these were three minutes. I'm kind of nervous now. Yes. All right. I think that they're done. Ah. Uh oh. Oh dang it! I am not good at shooting these. No, I think it's. Oh, food. Ow. No, please go away. I didn't look at you. I swear. I swear. Please. No. All right. We can put our um, pumpkin on now. I think. And just go in F1 and basically wait this out. But I'll move that over. So maybe we can try and shoot him. Dang it. Oh, I hit him. The only problem with F1 is that you can't see what level he's at. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Oh no, that's not nice. Dragon's Breath. Oh, I totally forgot though that I'm supposed to actually be collecting that. Hi, sorry, don't mind me. Oh, I've actually lost some health. That's actually also kind of dangerous. Ah, uh, oh, I can get an arrow back. Oh, he's circling that tower. Er. He really likes that tower for some reason. He's doing something with the water. I didn't know that he did that, so I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I could chill here, I guess, and just keep killing you with arrows. Is my dragon broken, do you think? Because I kind of feel like he might be broken. Do I have a good amount of arrows left? Oh, honestly, not really. Let's see, how low is he? He's actually very low. Almost dead. really close, he's like one hit. Okay, I'm gonna just use the pumpkin. Oh, last hit. That makes sense. Yes. Dead. Got him. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, that actually wasn't that bad. I had a minor heart attack going over the void there for a minute. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the egg yet because I do want to do the end rating. Equip another potion and another stack of that. And then get our bucket of water. And I guess go into the end city dimension. There we go. Oh man, I just piled up here and I was way off. This thing's actually quite properly over the void. Okay, might be the last time that you see me alive. Um, I'm actually, for, for some reason, much more nervous to go in this dimension. Water bucket. Nothing around quite yet. All right, my tactic right now is basically just to, one, to run in one direction for a while and hopefully find something sooner rather than later. And run for a ways I did. I ran for quite a ways and I killed some endermen for the pearls because I did have to ender pearl across a couple places. Try and save on blocks. Okay, I have reached the end of my blocks, um, even though you can't see some of them. 
I don't know if I can make it over there with an ender pearl. I might try it. I think that I, even if I miss, I might try a slow falling potion and then throw another one. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna try it because I don't really have any other option other than running all the way back. I don't wanna do that. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Uh oh. That totally just yeeted me into the void. Cool. It hasn't hit the ground yet. Um, I'm just discarding all of my stuff right now. The heck, how long does it take? Um, maybe it's safe? I don't know. It, it would have hit the ground by now, right? I'm so nervous. Okay, new better plan. I'm gonna run back, I think. I don't want to leave this here to despawn, though. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna run. Um, although I also need another ender pearl. Oh, I hit two. That's great. Alright, that was terrifying, but we got it. Alright, I think we're safe now from the ender pearl, but I really need more blocks. Although, unless- okay, I feel like I am making a bad decision doing this, but I could always just throw it higher. I think that's how it works, and just let it take me hopefully over there. Let's see, I have 49 seconds left. Um, I'm equipping our last one here. And actually, that ledge over there might be closer. Please land. Nope. Nope, they aren't there. They aren't doing anything. Okay. Alright, so let's just head back then, I guess. Alright, so I threw that pearl and it worked, so I guess that maybe if it goes into the void it doesn't kick you in there. Which I thought it wasn't a thing that it did that, but I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Okay, so we're back. I don't know what I really have of value. I guess I could put away the dragon's breath. Um, that's kind of it. And now I need to be able to make another pickaxe. So I need some sticks. Unless I have one lying around. Which I don't. Alright, but we can just make a nice iron one and then grab all of our blocks here. Alright, so now we should be good to go. Okay, we finally made it all the way back. Yeah, okay, we can go do all of this over again. Just, you know, traveling interdimensionally, it's okay. Okay, finally, after like probably only about an hour and a half, but the longest hour and a half of my life. But see that behind us? End city, finally. Now, all I have to do is not die during this, and we should be home, hopefully, with some loot. If it if it has a ship, that, that might be a problem. Oh wait, I see it. Back there, yes, okay, good. I did not want to bridge to another area after this one. I'm all set with this dimension for about the next 10 years, I think. Oh, there's another one right over there. I think it's a bigger one. I don't see a ship on it though. I suppose we could go to it afterwards. No harm in checking, probably. Dang it, I keep forgetting how much health shulkers have. It's a surprising amount, honestly. They actually didn't drop anything though, what the heck? Okay, we have our first crossroads here. I think there's stuff shooting at me from up there though. It's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this one because I think it is probably our best bet. Uh, what the heck is this shulker doing here? That's a weird place for you. Uh oh. I need to get my shield out here. Probably actually in our offhand is a good place for that, I suppose. Oh, you're still out here. Hello. Oh, dang it. He disappeared. Oh, no. He's right there. Oh, there's one guy up here. Hello, sir. Hit me. Ow. Ah, uh, got him. I guess I might as well go for the boat first. Okay, I keep missing over there, so I'm going to go for it. Actually, I only have uh, a few more blocks left in my name, so that might not be the smartest idea. What's in here? I don't think there's actually anything in these rooms. Shell brush shell, let's go. Um, nothing in here though. I will, however, take the end rods. Ah, rude, 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 rude. Okay, I'm gonna just, um, use this up and just kind of float over here. Ooh, I missed. That's not good. Okay, I am floating again. I just want to get up here. That's right, hit me, please. Oh, you're, you missed me. Okay. And that really doesn't last very long though, huh? Let's see, okay. I'm in. Ish. Ah! Oh, someone hit me. 
Ooh, potion of healing. And the brewing stand, I will take it. Let's go. Elytra. Okay, alright, we shouldn't need any more potions after this. Of slow falling, at least. Ooh, that's a decent amount of diamonds. Holy crap, that's actually so many. The thing is in just this one. There's 12 diamonds in that chest, and we had 7 in the other one. I really don't have room for all of that um, iron armor, so I'm just going to take a little bit. However, I will take the dragon head. Perfect. Holy crap, that looks so weird from this angle. You can only see me straight on. Um, Alright, that's enough of that. I would like my helmet back. Thank you, sir. Your time has come. Alright, I have two shulker cells now. Um, we've cleared all of that and that one too. So I guess this building didn't have any loot in it. Which is kind of sad. Aside from the elytra, of course. But I was really hoping to maybe get a diamond pickaxe from here so that I could also get an ender chest. But like, there's no loot there. So why? Why is Minecraft being so mean? Alright, but that is all clear and I'm gonna head over to the other one and see if I can get anything of importance. So much easier now. I am so glad that I have Elytra. Um, I'm gonna start at the top and work my way. <gasps> what the heck? Are you kidding me? I traveled so many freaking blocks and now I have three cities. <gasps> that one has a boat too. That's kind of nice. Hello, sir. God, there are so many shulkers in here. But it looks like they do have loot. Where are you guys even hiding in here? Alright, we got that guy. Um, I just want to wait to drop down so I can get his shulker shell. Alright. Oh, now I'm never going to get back to the bottom. Ow. Alright, I'm going to check the loot. Hey, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to take the iron armor so I can throw it all back in here. Hey, rude. Not cool. Go away. That was a weird sound. I don't think I've heard that sound of them teleporting before. Alright, you give me no choice. I'm going to just shoot you now. Another guy down there. You're really causing me a lot of pain, sir. Please not. Thank you. The arrows actually do quite a good job with them. Okay, I have four shulker shells now. So I can make two shulkers. That's really not a lot. Alright, so this is the very top, so I need to go down. Oh, but this is a shulker room. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. What the heck? They're being so mean. There's so many of them. Oh, that's a good shovel. Oh, pickaxe. Nice. Okay. Excellent. I really wanted one of those. This has protection, but I really think I want glass protection. Although I don't think that would actually help us. Because I think it's more projectile protection is what you need for this. At least I think. But yeah, okay. So I want to go actually back over to here. And pick up this lovely um, ender chest. <gasps> oh, it's not so touch. Dang it. Oh, I forgot that was what it was. I thought it was just diamond. It's been a while since I've done this, okay? Don't, don't judge me. I just need to go into this one now. Oh, let's go. That guy was actually kind of easy to kill. Oop, he uh, totally just ran away from me. You know what? I'm just gonna ah, walk you guys off a little bit. There you go. Alright, diamond sword. Not bad. I'll throw that in there. Hey, that's not nice. Crap, that's a lot of iron as well. Where are they even coming from? There's like the one guy out there I didn't get, I guess. Alright, let's take care of him then. Okay, good. He is done. Oh crap, another one of these rooms. Ah, I got that guy. Oh, I totally did not want to do that. Um, I actually don't know if there is stuff in this room though. There isn't, okay. Or is there? Am I missing it? Maybe. No, there's no loot. Am I being dumb? Did I already get this room? Might have already got this room. That actually makes sense, I think. Wow. So many jokers. Okay, yeah, so I need to get that very um, bottom room, if that even has anything in it. Oh crap, two people outside? Yeah, there isn't anything in these. Alright, so we should go over here now. Right, this is actually a huge city. Oh no, I didn't make it. Alright, I guess we can work from the bottom to the top. Uh, let's go in here. Got him. Ish. Ow! Haha. -ha. Oh, I'm breaking three curse of vanishing. I guess I might as well take it. And we have six more shulk- the Six more shulker shells. I swear it's a tongue twister. It's not just me, right? Okay, what's at the top of this? 
nothing really interesting or of use, I don't think. Hi, can someone hit me, please? I would like to float. Iron armor, not cool. Fair iron ingots, that's okay. And that was all of the stuff. Oh, there's a shulker here. What the heck, dude? Blocking my exit strategy. Okay, so I've cleared that. Have I cleared this area? Oh yeah, I have. Okay. What else? What else? I guess just the top um, layer up here. Dang it, if you guys could leave me alone so I can drop down and collect this guy's shell. Hey -o. What the heck is this guy? Ah! Oh, over here. Oh, and there's one more dude down there. Where'd you even come from? Uh, Sharpless to a knockback. Okay, some decent swords. And my ender chest is getting kind of full here. Um, 16 shulker shells though. Alright, that's this place cleared. Um, and what level are we on? Alright, I guess we do have to go up. Maybe. Um, actually there isn't anything in these rooms, so I guess we can just go to the boat now. Hey. Oh, he teleported. <gasps> Spire armor trim. Let's go. Okay. Good shovel. Oh, and this one just has gold. Nice. I'm glad that we got something new and interesting from that, because I think this is the last building that we have. I do, however, though. Oh, that just fell into the void. I do want to get another dragon head here. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Alright, one more dude. Aha, uh, oh dang it. Oh no. <gasps> Crap, I might not have enough to get that last shulker shell. shell. Uh, wait, there's more guys down there. Okay, shulker shell, let's go. Um, that should be everything. Oh, and is that a portal down there? Yes, okay. Alright, I think that is plenty of city rating for today. I mean, two litra, not bad, not bad. Alright, let's see, can I... Why? Oh, dang it. That was close. I was really close, you saw. Okay, we are back to at least um, a part of the end that's a little bit familiar by now. And I'll get my torches out so we can get that egg. Alright, let's go. We got everything that we came here for. And now we're back here. And there is kind of too many things that we have. Um, but I'm gonna make an ender chest, I think, with this obsidian real quick. Alright, although I don't have a crafting table. Dang it, and I only have that one shulker box. Hey, what the heck? Why are you here? Ah, why are you all coming out right now? Uh, let's go to the library, actually. And, um, gather some wood and then we can get our ender chest and then make a shulker box. Alright, crafting table. Um, although I won't be able to actually pick this up once I make it and put it down. I don't know if that's worth it. Alright, I'm sure it's fine. So I guess we'll make um, as many as we can right now and just start absolutely loading everything in here. Okay, so that should be everything. Now we can pick all of that up and I do want to um, raid the chests in here though. This, an eye armor trim. Loyalty 3. Uh, power um, 5, 4, 5, I think. Protection 3 and efficiency. Alright, uh, piercing and then a bunch of those and I'll take the whole chest because I might as well. And all of these bookshelves of course means only one thing. We can actually just destroy all of them pretty much and fill our chiseled bookshelves with all of the books to make them look like regular bookshelves-ish. Also creating and like enchanting for cool stuff on them but mostly just decoration purposes. But I actually probably will only get like a stack so that I can come back here and actually um, silk touch these for the bookshelf part. Um, but there also is one more up here. And this has Fortune 3 on it, so I can get this diamond. Let's go, okay. Alright, so that's all collected from there. And there is a chest in here that I think has something good. Oh yeah, diamond and the music disc. And there is another library in here somewhere, but I kind of just want to go and just get all of my stuff from the portal. And then, ooh, this is a dark area. I actually don't think I've been down there. Um, and then go home and work on some other stuff. Um, but we can absolutely collect everything in here now. As well as our bed. And also just a few iron bars, just for the sake of building. Alright, so I need to, uh, get back up here then, I guess. Oh, and actually, no, you know what? I might as well, um, just jump in here real quick. I want to get some of that, the purple plant. So it's kind of close, because I do definitely want to grow more of that. And the only thing that reminded me was looking at my minimal 
um, collection of the purper, so that's good. Okay, but we can just grab a few of these plants here. Oh, actually, it doesn't get it the actual thing, does it? Never mind. Alright, we need to break these and get a few of them, just to be safe. Okay, so now that we have broken our bed, we should be able to spawn um, at our spawn point back home. Yep, okay, and it's nighttime. And we can very easily fly home all the way over here. And I'm keeping an eye on my Elytra because it does break very easily. There it is, our beautiful home. I am glad to be back. That was quite a long journey. The pain too. But we're back and I can put all of my stuff away. I don't think I have any other armor trims. So I'm gonna just put them in here. And I do have the other ones in one of these. That one's actually empty. Uh, this one, yes, okay. And it takes a lot of diamonds to actually duplicate this, so kind of rare. But yeah, they're both armor trims. Which I guess the only thing that is in our armor trim is the one, the thing for netherite and the bastion, so that makes sense. And then we have eight obsidian from that chest that I broke, so I could make another one of these. And then I guess we could just uh, leave it in here, just to have. Our diamond collection, I think we kept it in here. No, we kept it with our enchanted. But yeah, I'm gonna need a chest for just strictly armor, which I guess can be one of these, just to keep it kind of secret and hidden away. We might just keep one for iron armor, just because. Uh, iron armor and tools, I suppose. And then keep another one, although this is my chest plate and my pants. Although, what do I have for a helmet? Just protection, and I'm breaking three. This one is not good, but this one has fire protection, but um, also I'm breaking and mending, so I might keep that. I just like one that has a good protection chant on it, uh, but we didn't really get a whole lot for helmets. But yeah, 28 emeralds from- or not emeralds, diamonds from that. Yeah, I don't know, I think a lot of this is gonna go in my enchanting room. Um, I guess other than the saddles here. Although I suppose we could keep our chorus flowers in here for now, because I won't start a farm for those quite yet. Um, but up here, we now have 50 diamonds just sitting in a chest. Um, and I'll just throw all of our books in here. One of them had mending on it. Maybe I didn't grab that one. And we don't really have a potion area yet either, so I don't know what to do with that. But let's just take all of this out anyways. And I might leave the egg for now, just like, fill in there, maybe? But now I also want to um, fill in all of these books here. And I don't think that they're going to look super great with all of the books filled in, because they all look like the same block, but I'll take some of them out at some point, but for right now that's fine. Oh, actually, we have a whole bunch of those um, in our house. So, um, actually, after I drop off my iron and gold, we can head back in there, and hopefully these will fill up all of them, or at least most of them. Oh yeah, we didn't have as many as I thought, so those can all be filled, but I do kind of want to take away a few of these, just to have something a little bit different. Yeah, okay, that looks good, I think. And I do really need to um, sort out my valuables chest here, um, so we can just throw some uh, miscellaneous stuff in here for now. Okay, but that's mostly everything sorted out. But now that that five hour long part of the video is done, we've beat the game and built a skeleton farm, we can actually work on the main build for today. Kind of on this weird little peninsula over here because it's like kind of sticking out. Peninsulas, you know, um, and it's gonna like be right here. Um, and it's gonna be a lighthouse, which you probably already know, but we need a lot of deep slate for this and something has uh, happened to my deep slate. So we need to actually go chop some of that real quick. Alright, hopefully two in a bit stacks is enough for this, which I'm sure it will be. There's gonna be plenty of other materials that will probably be more of a problem. But yeah, we actually need to hop into the nether real quick too. And the reason for that is we need to grab some of our netherrack. Um, and I guess also we do have some nether brick that has already smelted, so we can do that as well. And whatever has smelted, not smelted, um, grown for this is what we need to grab as well, which is only 12, but we can make as many nether brick blocks as that will make. So we have that, and then um, we need some brick. So we have plenty of that, but then we also need just some regular clay here, which might be a bit of a problem. In the morning, I'm gonna have to probably go mine a little bit more. Alright, that probably is enough. And the reason we collected that is because we need some light terracotta for this. That'll make 42, which is definitely enough. So we can throw that in there to smelt, and grab a little bit of lava. There we go. And we also need to be turning some of our quartz here into blocks. Probably I'll do two stacks for now. Um, but then I also was hoping to find a mangrove because I need some red for this lighthouse because I kind of wanted to have a little bit for like using some stairs and stuff. We really need mending and unbreaking on this, so 
Um, I'm gonna actually throw all of our building materials in here to condense a little bit of space. And I don't think you can just enchant um, Elytra because it is- there's only like two enchantments you can get on it, so you, I don't think you can. Yeah, so we'll just have to do it manually with just a mending book for now, no one breaking, but that should be alright. Um, we have, uh, 12 extra emeralds, um, and I didn't bring a book. However, we can just buy a bookshelf off of this guy, just for the heck of it. Um, and then mending. Beautiful. And I'll just throw our emeralds and everything in there. Um, and then I also, since I have so many levels, I want to combine these, and then, see, I had a book that was perfect. I just don't remember it was though, right? I don't know, maybe it didn't exist and I'm just going crazy. Oh, it might have been on an enchantment for a bow. Oh no, no, I thought it was a book. Maybe I'm going crazy. Piercing smite. I wanted an unbreaking one, but this one already has power three, so I don't know if it's worth it actually to just combine these two bows and save that for maybe a different bow at some point. So I'll just combine these and I actually want to rename them to fire boots. It seems appropriate. And then we can combine these two for power three. And then it'll be power 4, and I'm breaking 2, 16, and 12. Okay, alright, so now we have a decent bow. Oh wait, where the heck did my mending book go? Oh, did I leave it up there on accident? Dang it. I did, what the heck? Oh, because I meant to leave the books up there. Anyways, um, mending. So I'm just gonna fly around. I think this is the direction I've least explored. So I'm just gonna basically fly in this direction until I see something interesting. Which is a tactic that I've used today and it's worked so far-ish. It's just taken me a while. Actually, in sidetrack, I for, I totally didn't notice that there- <gasps> Really? No way, man. That's not cool. No way that killed me. Man, um, there was snow on those trees and I just- I thought that was cool because I could make snowmen and I know that I had a snowy mountain by our cherry forest, but I didn't want to go over there, which I guess wouldn't have even been that difficult, I suppose, with our Elytra, but anyways, we died. Super fun. It's kind of a cool underwater cave. I kind of want to build something down there. That would be cool to do like a creepy sunken ship. That's very random, I'm sorry, but I suppose I couldn't do very much of any building if I keep on dying. Oh, was it even over here that I died? Oh, it might have been those over there. Oh good, it's right up here. Snow. Oh gosh, all of my things scattered. I guess I'm glad that I um, did my enchanting before I fell to my death. This has fortune 3 on it, does that give me more? It does not. I just need 8 for some snowballs. Okay, I think I have everything here. Yeah, I mean that looks like everything. At least I really hope it is, but I think we have everything. At least super important. Um, but I kind of want to get out of here because it's night time. <gasps> mangrove! 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 Let's go! Oh yes! Okay, uh, I will get a proper ghoul and then, um, a little bit of wood. Oh, let's see, I didn't bring any bone meal. Okay, 28 logs is enough for what we need to be doing. And I got a proper ghoul, but I kind of want to get one more just to be safe. Two, okay. Uh, and there's this one, so we might as well. Alright, three, and that's good. I could also collect some mud, because I do want to use a little bit of it for the build. Alright, that's some decent destruction of landscape, and hopefully we can just run right out of here. I kind of want to live in a mangrove forest. I mean, obviously we don't have one, where we already have set up pretty good. But maybe the next world I start, depending on what the new update is next year, I could totally live in a mangrove. Alright, our home mountain and our home base, and we made it back um, pretty quickly actually. And our elytra is kind of hurting, but let's see, we can always repair it at the skeleton farm if we need to. We can actually uh, throw down a prop fuel here. Hopefully it's enough space for it to grow. And then we also need some white wool for this, which I've been kind of trying to collect, but honestly at this point I don't have that many white sheep left. And I did breed them once, but I probably need to do that again here. Okay, so that's all good, and I think I was gonna do the build first, but there is a redstone clock um, for the lighthouse part, just because, why not? And I want to do that first, just to get that kind of out of the way in case anything goes wrong, and then I can just do the rest of the building. It does need a lot of cobblestone, and unfortunately that is something we really don't have. We only have 20. And not only that, it does need quite a lot of uh, redstone and um, redstone lamps, obviously. So I guess we really don't have a lot of stones left, so we do need to go on another little mining session here. I don't 
know if over a stack will do it, but I want to just kind of get that started here. And we do have a lot of quartz, luckily. So we actually need 20 for the first ring around. And we can only make 14. Let's see, 7 times 4, 28. So we need, oh gosh, a total of 48 observers for that. And then a few extra for the insides. So we're basically uh, just looking at a lot. So we have a few stacks and we need a total of 60 observers. Observers use um, 6 cobblestone, so that's 360 cobblestone. Divide that by the stacks is um, almost 6 stacks, actually. I've already got a few, so I want to see how much that makes, actually, because I've kind of messed it up by already making some. 35. Holy crap. Alright, so we need 11 more. So we need uh, a stack and 2 more cobblestone, just for this. And then the build also uses a little bit of cobblestone, so we need that as well. Okay, so 11 more. Gosh, that is a lot of observers. And then um, we need redstone lamps, which I believe is um, glowstone, so we need to run to the nether and get that. And we need a total of 48 of these, so we need 48 um, glowstone from in here. Alright, we've collected all 48 of those. Um, and then that should be it for the redstone clock. And this time, I actually think we might have enough redstone. Although I might have jinxed it by saying that, so I guess I'll shut up now. Because we also need these redstone to build that, so we won't have enough redstone, but we can trade for a little bit of it because it will be close. Yeah, man, that is a very intense need for that in this. Alright, so that is everything that we need, definitely. But I do have a quick detour here that I want to make. Just the very quickest side project is just that I want to plant these um, chorus flowers, just so that we can have the purple, hopefully, by the time I'm done building this thing to decorate our skeleton farm, hopefully. So we can just take it down in here. They actually do need quite a lot of space to grow, so um, we're gonna dig this down a couple blocks. Oh, and actually I don't think they- oh, they can be placed to something else. Oh, they just don't like it. Alright, let's just dig it out wider then. Okay, so those should be growing in there um, very nicely, hopefully. But now we can get to actually building this whole thing, and the redstone clock is really just a basic observer clock that then just goes around and then connects to some lower observers, which then um, power all of these redstone lamps, which have to have some extra observers in the corners, power like the inside of the circle type part, because I didn't want it to be completely a square because that would look kind of weird, even though it is Minecraft. And then there's just some little bits of redstone at the bottom, which we do have to trade for, but other than that, that's basically the whole thing, and then it is placed right so that um, I don't have to move it at all, I hope. And then the, for the rest of the lighthouse, I kind of wanted to keep it on that lighthouse theme, kind of the classic like red and white stripe look, which is just, I think, the most recognizable thing of a lighthouse, because I wanted to kind of keep it something that you would kind of know what it is, but also kind of keep it like kind of muted so that it doesn't like stand out because I didn't want to have like a red and white thing totally in the middle of everything that we built. So I kind of kept the colors like muted, but then I wanted to keep it also interesting so it wasn't too boring. It's a fine balancing act, you see. And so I did like a lot of texturing, like I did that white terracotta with some like birch and then the mangrove for the red stripes with that um, netherrack and the red nether bricks. And then the regular brick to kind of add that light kind of touch in there to keep it kind of blended with the other stuff. And the birch blocks we only used on that bottom layer you see just because it kind of like blended it with the deep slate a little bit at least i hope that's what it did that's kind of what i was going for but then once we get up to the top here to the redstone clock there's that little like cobblestone balcony ish type thing even though we actually can't really get up there from the inside so if we wanted to we could fly onto it i guess and try and do that without dying but it's really just for decorational purposes and we have the iron bars here on all four corners which then leads up into the roof which is a gradient of blackstone and deep slate keep it darker and then also have it still be not just one color to make it look too kind of flat. So then that's the whole build done. And I realized that I didn't actually say what this is going to be inside of here. And it's going to be a creeper farm, kind of, but I looked up all kinds of tutorials and I didn't really want to do any of them because it kind of seemed like it was um, going to have to be far away and like on the ocean for a lot of them, but maybe I just didn't look hard enough. But it's going to be kind of just a makeshift one where it's going to be mostly just a mob spawner that'll hopefully get a lot of creepers. I do plan on adding some carpets in here. But before we do any of that, we need to actually start the bottom here for the collection system and also maybe light it up for a little bit in here even though I have no torches um, but we basically just need more tinted glass and a whole bunch of soul campfires and um, some hoppers 
Okay, so we're gonna have to remove all of this stuff first, I guess. And of course, we'll put a floor in here eventually, but right now, uh, we just need to add um, our chest in, like that, and then all four of these hoppers along the back here. And then on top of that is, oops, uh, some soul campfires, which then need some more tinted glass on top. Um, and that's the basic collection system, but now we need a whole bunch of trapdoors, and I have, honestly, right now, the most cherry wood, so it's gonna be a very pretty interior here. Not on purpose, though. And then we can just, uh, make a few dirt floors at the top here. And this is just very basic, um, because, of course, in here it is pretty small. It's very, very limited. So we just have that going along, like, a stripe along here. Oop, that's not good. I have fallen. Ah, uh, and I can't get up. Okay, I kind of thought that might happen along this point. So then, it's just a too tall thing. I'm gonna add some carpet in here at some point. And again, this is very basic, but having the, just the trap doors in the middle um, does usually get them to go pretty willingly and accidentally just fall through the floor here. And I think we have enough room for one more floor. Oh yeah, we do. Actually, we have room for two more, I suppose. Um, so that means that I need a whole bunch more dirt and trap doors. Okay, so that's all of this finished, and this floor up here will be lit up by the light, of course. So now that should be all set. So we can put all of this back together here, and then that should be it. That's like basically my whole plan for this. And now we just need a floor in here, and I'm thinking to keep it kind of basic. Probably just some spruce wood, so we can add probably a floor on this level. Oops, but then maybe start it like that and then go down here. Though we need to clear this actually, because it is kind of waterlogged at the moment. All I have is soul sand though, so this could take a minute. Alright, that was um, painful to say the least, but now everything is pretty well dried off. And we can go ahead and add in a nice little um, doorway here. Next episode, we're probably going to add some rocks and stuff to this peninsula type thing. And then make kind of a little pathway out here. And also over there... Ah, uh, drowning. Sorry. We didn't do any of the paths um, to connect that over to the city, so that needs to get done as well. And I want to also put in um, a little mini dock over by our two little houses over there. So we'll kind of connect the R area a little bit better this time. But I haven't spent too long doing this floor, but nothing has spawned, which I guess is okay for now. But I'm really hoping that it will start to work. I guess I should probably also do this last layer of tinted glass at some point. That would help. But I'll just add some slabs in there for now. Although actually, I think I smelted some glass, so we might actually have the materials to do that. Alright, that's better, um, because light will definitely um, totally ruin this if it gets too far up in there. But yeah, that's all set. Um, there isn't very much decoration in here, but maybe I'll add um, like some more storage and things at some point. And maybe I could uh, move the storage to this side, that might be a little bit more convenient. But for right now, that works perfectly well. But that is all the time that I have in today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.